A 63-year-old woman with a family history of uh, family history of osteoporosis presents with a vertebral fracture. She has a workup that reveals no complicating causes other than the osteoporosis. She has a history of type 2 diabetes, a prior DVT, and severe reflux esophagitis with stricture in her past. Her, her exam is unremarkable except for spinal tenderness over T7. What would you recommend for her? Would you have her go on teriparatide, alendronate, estrogen, zoledronate, or kyphopla have kyphoplasty? Okay, so my correct answer here would be to have the patient go on zoledronate or zoledronic acid. They get a one-time infusion every year to year and a half. And so the preferred treatment in someone with osteoporosis is bisphosphonates. This person has a rose of esophagitis with a stricture. So that's someone where it's too risky to put them on alendronate. Remember, alendronate's the pill that if it doesn't make it through the esophagus, it causes a pill esophagitis. It can burn a hole in that area. And so it would be too risky. So we still want to use a bisphosphonate if possible. And so that's where we would reach for the zoledronate. Uh, some of you were thinking about teriparatide. It's more expensive and not as well proven. So uh, it's not a terrible answer, but zoledronate would be preferred. And then some of you were looking at doing kyphoplasty. That's often done. The randomized trials of kyphoplasty uh, compared to placebo do not show additional benefit with using kyphoplasty. So it's a procedure that we probably shouldn't be doing in the majority of patients with a vertebral fracture. That's where you put some ment directly. You inject it into their vertebrae. All right. Switching topics a little bit. Let's talk briefly about elder mistreatment. This is something that they want you to recognize on boards. So it's defined as an intentional action, such as being uh, abusive towards an older person or failing to act in, on their behalf, uh, aka neglect, that's doled out by a caregiver or family member. It's most prevalent in folks who have dementia. You can see it, uh, or you, you might see it in the form of uh, just poor care for the individual, um, skin tears, lacerations, bruises, etc., pressure ulcers, um, while not 100% preventable, are also uh, big red flags when we see them. And it's mandatory that we, we report any uh, suspected elder abuse. 